Far in the mountains of Jerashen in Armenia's Lori region, the villagers in Shirakamut are ready for the planting season. October to winter, then from April to summer, are the best times to plant trees and let them grow. Each day, from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m., the villagers dig around 200 to 250 holes. Their mission is to plant 400,000 trees in collaboration with My Forest Armenia. Andre Gumushjan, the founder of My Forest Armenia, who is a Belgian Armenian entrepreneur, knows this is achievable. So, in the area behind you, we have uh, 150 hectares for which we already have the EIA. And uh, on this hill, behind this hill, a bit further, we have another land in Jerashen of 100 hectares. Beyond that, we're working on a, on a big area, which is to the north of here, which is close to uh, 1,500 hectares, so 10 times this, this size. During the past 25-30 years, the forest coverage of the Republic of Armenia has been cut dramatically. The forest coverage is now officially 11.2%. From the climate change point of view, Armenia is considered a vulnerable country. Increasing forest coverage, which includes afforestation and reforestation, is considered to be one of the most important tools dedicated to the mitigation of disasters affiliated with climate change. We want to create a rich forest with a rich biodiversity and with a strong ecosystem. That means, first of all, planting a lot of um, local trees, local trees, so we're collecting the, the seeds from the local forests. And we want to have many different varieties of, uh, of tree species, but not only of trees, also of shrubs, because shrubs will attract insects, they will attract birds, and all that will create an ecosystem. 35 kilometers away from the mountain of Jerashen is the nursery near the village of Gugark. There, 14 workers plant different varieties of seeds and grow trees before planting them in an area to reforest. My Forest Armenia created two nurseries in the Lori region, in Debet and Gugark, and one in Hagartin in the Tavush region. Actually, we are sowing seeds, direct sowing, it's happening there. After that, we will plant uh, seedlings. That is coming. Uh, that are coming from the nurseries. We are choosing how many varieties we need to grow. At the moment, we are growing pine, oak, uh, two, three types of maple, wild apple, wild pear. One of the biggest issues that led to decreasing forests in Armenia is the illegal logging that is still ongoing. In Vahe's opinion, reforesting areas that used to be covered with trees and planting trees in areas where there were no forests is crucial for Armenia. Some people are cutting, even now. They are cutting trees, they are destroying forests. That's why we need to help. We need to help uh, nature to, to come back, to bring back forests. Back in the mountains of Jerashen, the workers continue to shovel the soil. For Vahram Sagatelian, the work provided by My Forest Armenia is a chance, as in Shirak Amut, there is no job. These new planted seeds or the little trees freshly rooted in the ground will grow into a forest in 50, 100 years or even more. The majority of the hands that planted them will never see the result of their hard work. Neither will Andre Gumushjana, the initiator of this challenging project. So why put so much effort? We, all of us, you, I, you and I and everybody else, uh, have polluted the, the planet. We've destroyed the planet and, and I'm just as guilty as, as anybody else, uh, some more than me, some and a lot, lot less than me. And I, and I felt that it's not right um, to, to leave the, the result of this destruction for the young generations. 
And the fact that I will not see it, uh, I take it in stride. I will be happy with the knowledge that this will benefit future generations and I will be satisfied with that.